This episode of Shadowversity is brought to you by my epic fantasy novel, Shadow of the Conqueror, where the daggers and all the other weapons are used in their correct functional context. I'm less magical and enchanted because when thought about logically, it naturally changes design. It's available in ebook, paperback, hardcover, and audiobook. Links in the description. Shadowversity. Greetings, I'm Shad, and I want to talk a little bit about daggers, specifically how they are treated in fantasy. Not only just like, say, TV shows, movies, but also role-playing games and video games, like tabletop role-playing games and video games. Because I think they're very misunderstood items, right? How effective they are in combat, but also how much damage they actually do. In Dungeons & Dragons, uh, they generally do D4 damage. That's like pittance, okay? <laughs> it's nothing. And, uh, and so... What doesn't make sense about this to me, all right, is characters in Dungeons Dragons, this is kind of my pet peeve with hit points in general, you can get hit points up to 40 to 100. And if you have a weapon that does like D4 damage, plus maybe an enchantment, plus your damage bonus, or whatever like that, you're never going to kill someone with a dagger like and a regular sword. But that, the, with a regular sword, there are other things that you do, like, you know, the feats that are able to multiply your damage, stuff like that. And in actual fact, it almost seems like the whole point of daggers in a lot of role-playing games are to be used with... Uh, backstabs or sneak attacks and stuff like that where you get a massive damage boost for hitting them in the dangerous area and perhaps people might say that is how you get the damage potential to be able to do it but what doesn't make sense about this is any schlob who picks up a dagger and by the way it's a I know this isn't the best it's just kind of like a reenactment you know fantasy or not even fantasy but it's not the best but still it's, a, it's doing the job okay any slob who picks up a dagger, okay, and he finds someone asleep, all right, if he plunges this into someone's neck, I don't care how many hit points they are, they're gonna die. And my other problem about this, right, uh, like a dagger strike to the neck, say, okay, is easily as devastating as if you struck someone with a sword. A sword can go through someone's neck, but how far does this need to go through it deep to go through my neck, okay? Humans, like, uh, unless you're a bit wide like me, you know, look at me from the side, do I look different to you? <laughs> Humans aren't that wide, and I'm not that wide, all right? Get off my back, okay? But if you were to stab me all the way to the hilt, look how far that goes in. That is almost coming out the back of me, all right? And yet, in so many role-playing games, stuff like that, daggers are given such a damage nerf, it doesn't make sense. Now, the other problem that I have with daggers is how effective they are portrayed in real combat. Because if you are only armed with a dagger and you're fighting against someone who has, say, a, l <laughs> a long sword, all right? Uh, do, you, do you see the, the reach difference, okay? The person using the dagger is at such a tremendous disadvantage. It's insane. Now, of course, I have seen sparring videos of HEMA practitioners, one using a long sword, another guy using two daggers, and honestly, the guy with, two, with the daggers they don't do too bad, but in, speaking generally, okay, if the person using the sword knows some, you know, decent enough techniques, stuff like that, to play upon the advantages that the sword has, the guy with the dagger almost never comes out on top, unless you be sneaky. Maybe that's a whole rogue thing, fighting sneakily and things. But seriously, in real combat, the disadvantage of using a dagger, or just a single dagger, let alone even two daggers, eh? the disadvantage, using daggers against weapons with longer reach like swords is huge. Yet in combat, you rarely are given a disadvantage, like in role-playing games and stuff. With someone using a dagger, they don't really get given a disadvantage in the actual combat. And so it's really weird. Daggers get a unnatural, unrealistic kind of combat boost in regards to how effective they really are when fighting against someone with much superior arms and weapons and then they're given a massive damage nerf for when they actually land the strike on the opponent how little damage they really do you know when it comes to people wearing heavy armor like plate armor and stuff like that i will venture and i have already ventured to say this in my it's not a video but it's a dedicated video on armor right that the dagger has actually killed more opponents in armor historically than the sword it's so much easier to take out someone who is wearing armor with a dagger, okay? Because you can get in close, find the open points, jam this through the eye, something like that, and just take them out. One of the ways in which you want to fight someone in armor is not necessarily go for the open, it is going for the open spots, but your 
priority before that is to incapacitate them and knock them off their feet. If there's the opportunity to, you know, jam your sword in the opening on the arm while you're doing that, you take it. But your first priority is actually to knock them off their feet because someone wearing full plate armor is so profoundly effect, like, like protected, it's incredible. And so once you knock them off your feet, generally you're gonna jump on top of them and pull out a dagger. Uh, more traditionally, if you're fighting someone against armor, something like a rondel dagger would be so much more effective than this kind of fantasy-ish dagger. It has some similarities to historical daggers, but I mean, there are much more authentic ones. And a rondel dagger is like almost like just a, a pure pick made to be jammed through the ice, little something like that. And the thing, the point that I'm trying to make here is that it's the dagger that is killing people, not the sword more often. Yet again, in role-playing games and fantasies, daggers, their damage potential are nerfed massively. And it's, it's a pet peeve, it bothers me, okay? And so their damage should honestly be something I think quite equivalent to the longsword and stuff like that, but their disadvantage is in how difficult it is to land a strike with it if your opponent is using a better weapon than what you're using. Now, if your opponent is not using a weapon, okay, if they're unarmed, then you should on honestly get a pretty big combat boost in being able to land your strike to your opponent if you're using a dagger. And so it's very weapon specific. What is the opponent using, holding? What are you using and holding? And depending on that situation, you can be at a huge advantage, even with a dagger, or at a huge disadvantage, depending on what your opponent is using. And I'm losing the light. I'm losing the light. All right, so I have to wrap this up. But these are the things that I wanted to share about it. So if we wanted to make it more realistic, we need to take that into account. Daggers should be able to do more damage, but honestly should be harder to land, hit it on the opponent, if you're fighting against someone who has a better weapon. So that's my point. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you again. So until that time, farewell.